Hello everyone. In this video, we'll we'll be talking about the factors affecting the velocity of enzyme reaction. That means, what are the factors which affect the rate of reaction of an enzyme? Right. So we are all aware what the work this enzyme will do. So it acts on the substrate by lowering the activation energy. Okay. That means the time taking for conversion of substrate to product is drastically reduced by the help of enzyme. Okay. And how this is possible? These enzymes specifically what they do, they just lowers the activation of energy for a compound or a substrate. Okay, so the time duration also is very, I mean, uh, drastically reduced, right? So before that, I will study uh, factors affecting the velocity of enzyme reaction. So there are several factors which affect the velocity of enzyme reaction. So first one to be discussed is substrate concentration. Okay, how much amount of substrate is available to react with the enzyme that also will affect the rate of reaction. At the same time, enzyme concentration itself also one of the factor which is affecting the velocity of enzyme reaction and the pH is very very important. So for any enzyme reaction has to be proceed, the pH is mandatory. Okay, and which conditions that enzyme reaction is taking place and temperature, product concentration, activators and coenzymes time and physical agents are the other factors which are affecting the velocity of an enzyme reaction. So first we'll discuss about effect of substrate concentration. So in this graph you can make out, so this is substrate concentration and this is velocity of the reaction. That means so when you increase the substrate concentration, when you increase the substrate concentration, the rate of reaction or velocity of uh, enzyme reaction also increases. Okay. And after certain level, okay, the enzymes which are available to react with the substrate is completed. That means there is no enzymes left to react with the substrate. So how much amount of substrate concentration you increase? The rate of reaction is not going to be changed because the enzymes are done. The enzymes are full of with the substrates. Though there are no enzymes left to react with further increment in the concentration of substrate. So you see here, initially with the increase of substrate concentration, the rate of reaction also increases. But after some time, the graph attains a plateau. That means beyond this, if you increase the substrate concentration, there is no effect. Okay, and there is a term called half Vmax. So, Vmax. So, half Vmax in the sense maximum velocity is half. Okay. The point at where, okay, the velocity of reaction is half maximum. Okay. The point at where the velocity of reaction is half maximum that is known as Km. Km is nothing but uh, michaelis mentens constant. Okay. And Vmax is where the velocity of reaction is maximum. So the terms like initial velocity V0 and maximum velocity Vmax and Km is uh, represents the half Vmax where the reaction is half maximum. Okay, where velocity of reaction is half maximum. That otherwise Km is known as Michaelis maintenance constant with the scientists who have extensively worked on this kinetics, enzyme kinetics with the substrate concentration. And in bracket, that is substrate concentration. Okay, so what we have understood with the substrate concentration at up to some point there is effect of substrate concentration on enzyme velocity reaction, velocity of an enzyme, okay, Rea velocity of one reaction of the enzyme, okay. So the rate of reaction increases when you increase the substrate concentration, but uh, there is a limit up to a particular point beyond this point. If you increase substrate concentration, there is no use at all, which will not aid for further increase of rate of reaction. Okay, so that is a take home message from the effect of substrate concentration. And second one is effect of enzyme concentration. So enzyme concentration, if you see here again, like similar to substrate concentration. Okay, so enzyme velocity in y axis, I mean x axis enzyme concentration is there. Okay, y axis enzyme velocity. So, if you increase the rate of uh, like uh, uh, enzyme concentration, there is a straight line that means substrates are there. Okay, so if you increase the enzyme concentration, 
if the enzymes are available obviously substrate will go and bind and they will involved in the reaction so they increase the rate of reaction so it is direct effect so if you increase the enzyme concentration there is increase in rate of reaction so directly velocity of uh, reaction also increases okay so here what is a graph i mean you are getting straight line but in case of substrate concentration you will get a hyperbola okay okay you will get a hyperbola that means initially it will rise okay after uh, reaching certain point there is a plateau and again it will come down right so there is only plateau there is no come down there is only plateau next effect of hydrogen ion concentration that means ph so each enzyme has its optimum ph why because enzymes are protein in nature and these proteins are made up of amino acids so these amino acids like acidic amino acids basic amino acids so based on the type of environment like if in uh, acidic environment like we know like uh, cationic uh, nature is there they are amphoteric in nature that means they act as anionic as well as cationic based on the type of ph or based on the type of environment acidic environment or alkaline environment okay so this is the thing about the ph so below or above this ph enzyme activity is decreased okay so that means enzymes they should have a optimum ph for the maximum velocity of enzyme reaction okay so beyond this their optimal ph or above the optimal ph the enzyme activity will be decreased okay so that is the take home message here so you see pepsin it is an uh, digestive enzyme which is produced in the stomach stomach what are the conditions are there acidic conditions hcl is there so in that conditions uh, only pepsin can work but not amylase amylase is alkaline in nature okay it will not work in acidic environment so that's why when food mixed with hcl enter into the intestine first pancreas releases watery secretion so dilute the acidic uh, chyme okay then only when this acidic chyme diluted with watery secretion then only this alkaline enzymes like amylases lipases will come to the action work on the food okay otherwise they will not work so trypsin if you take this is a proteolytic enzyme okay this also works on the ph 8 that means alkaline so each enzyme have their own ph uh, optimal ph okay so that means few enzymes will be working in acidic conditions few enzymes will be working on alkaline conditions so if any change there is the, the functional activity also loss and they are directly affecting the velocity of the enzyme reaction if you see the graph so with the increase of ph okay initially there is a increase okay by reaching a optimal point okay this is maximum velocity of reaction you can get and still if you are increasing the ph there is no activity of the enzyme and rate of reaction will come down okay the velocity of enzyme reaction will come down okay so this is optimum ph where enzyme can give maximum velocity okay the enzyme reaction has got maximum velocity that is vmax and changes in ph can alter the following like ionization state of the amino acids as we discussed before like being protein in nature they are made up of amino acids like uh, based on the environment acidic or uh, alkaline amino acids uh, behave that way because they are amphoteric in nature okay so ionization state of amino acid present in the active site of the enzyme so this also we have discussed active site is a small part of the enzyme which is made up of binding and catalytic sites they are all in composition with amino acids okay active site is made up of 10 to 15 amino acid residues so the ionization state of the substrate is also play a major role here the drastic change in ph denatures the enzyme so that's why for metabolic reactions to take place in our body ph is mandatory thing okay if there is a slight change in the ph these enzymes stop working leads to multi organ failure and death so acidosis and alkalosis are the severe uh, dangerous conditions okay they should be monitored and other so factor which is affecting the velocity of enzyme reaction that is temperature so similarly ph temperature is also having a particular like optimal temperature that means the temperature at which the enzyme shows maximum velocity okay of the reaction that is known as optimum temperature and below this and above this optimum temperature the enzyme activity will be decreasing okay the rate of reaction or velocity of the enzyme reaction will be decreased so enzyme catalyzed reaction shows increase in rate of uh, reaction with increasing temperatures only within a relatively small and low temperature range so what is our body temperature 36 to 38 degree centigrade so if the temperature increases the enzyme activity will decrease so high temperatures are not allowed to for survival 
right so the activity progressively declines both above and below this temperature so again if you see the graph so enzyme velocity increases initially but after what optimal temperature level if you're still increasing the temperature there it causes denaturation of the enzyme and uh, deactivation of the enzyme so enzyme stops working so in case of ph and temperature the shape of the curve in the graph is bell shape okay bell shaped curve but in case of enzyme concentration it is straight line but in case of uh, substrate concentration it is hyperbola so increase in velocity is due to increase in the kinetic energy with increase initially with, when you increase the temperature and further elevation of temperature results in decrease in the reaction velocity due to denaturation of enzyme protein because proteins cannot sustain or tolerate high temperatures so low temperature also decreases enzyme activity and enzymes may be completely inactive at temperature 0 degrees and below okay and the inactivity at low temperature is reversible so most of the body enzymes have the optimum temperature 37 to 38 degrees centigrade and have progressively less activity if the temperature rises now coming to effect of product so if there is accumulation of product further reaction processing what is the use so if uh, suppose to like uh, fatty acid synthesis if you take so already there is a storage of fatty acids in the cell Again, what is, the, uh, what is the point in continuation of the fatty acid synthesis, right? Based on the body demand, it should be like switch on, switch off, right? If I don't have uh, fatty acid, I mean stored fatty acids uh, are like a TAG, you know, in my body, like what to say fatty acids in my body, then that fatty acid synthesis has to take place. But already I am enough uh, sufficient amount of uh, fatty acids, you know, in my body, then what is the point of continuously pro producing the fatty acids? Right, it is like a disturbance uh, to the other uh, mechanisms, metabolic uh, pathways of the body. Okay, so in that condition, the product accumulation also will alter the enzyme activity. What happens like uh, the whatever the product is accumulated, it will go and bind to the enzyme of the reaction so that the process of reaction will be stopped. So accumulation of products of the reaction causes the inhibition of enzyme activity for some enzymatic reactions. In absence of uh, again thing next thing is effect of activators and coenzymes so we have already studied right so for enzyme you require coenzymes uh, that means cofactors like if it is an organic nature coenzyme if it is uh, inorganic it is a metal ions like uh, cofactor uh, what to say metal ions right so in absence of activators and coenzymes enzymes become functionally inactive so coenzyme and activators are must for activation of the enzyme Okay, if, uh, if you are taking um, carbohydrate rich food, okay, for degradation of carbohydrates and to get energy, you require following pathways to take place like glycolysis, Krebs cycle, electron transport chain. So that enzyme is supposed to work. Okay, and the connector of glycolysis and Krebs cycle that is PDH complex, okay, oxidative decarboxylation, PDH complex is an enzyme. For that, it's a multi-enzyme complex, you require coenzymes, five coenzymes. If there is no availability of these coenzymes, Pyruvate cannot be converted to acetyl CoA and this acetyl CoA cannot enter into uh, TCA cycle. Right. So, that is the importance of coenzymes and activators. Same way, glucose, uh, what to say, carbonic anhydrase. Okay. Okay. The where there is absolute requirement of zinc. If zinc is not there, this carbonic anhydrase will not work. Time. So, under optimum conditions of pH and temperature, time required for energy reaction is less. So, that's what I said. When you are desirable or ample, I mean like uh, optimum conditions, if pH is right and temperature is also optimum, pH is also optimum and the rate of reaction is fast, okay. And the time duration for completion of the reaction is also less. The time required for completion of enzyme reaction increases with change in temperature, okay, and pH from its optimum. So above, below or the two unfavorable conditions where the time will be uh, increased for reaction to get complete. So that's all about the fa uh, factors uh, affecting the enzyme activity okay or uh, the factors affecting the velocity of uh, enzyme reaction okay thank you for listening thanks.